All right, so we're back. Uh, let's see, I don't, we have some resources. Do we even buy anything? What do these guys even have? How much does stuff cost? So there's some cards. Reduce the fell source of roads, no. So I could buy bone armor or a bone sword. It wouldn't cost too much. What about, she merges stuff together and we don't have any elemental sources. That's just dialogue, dialogue. And this guy had something, but I don't think anything. Okay, private warehouse, we've moved everything over. I'll move over the, um... Oh, wait, no, no, no. I stored that already. And we might as well expand the warehouse, even though it doesn't really help too much. And basement was training. I remember what I'm doing. Okay, so let, let's leave. Uh... That's, that's fate. Okay, well, let's just dive into adventure. Story mode, we're on to the sealed door. The old man said a group of people who believe in legend came to worship God very long ago. They built this door before they left, hoping that the soul of God is far from being disturbed. Legend of the Runes. Anyway, uh, let's see. So, golden items are available. Lose all possessions if defeated. Runes level 6. Well, let's hope we can get far enough. Now, fair warning. I actually really do want to see what the, um... I want to see what the... The... Uh, rescue mechanic is for this. Uh, so... We're going to, um, we're probably going to, if I can get to the boss, I'm going to throw the, throw the fight. If I don't get to the boss, we'll just keep trying again. Uh, because apparently if you die on a boss fight, you, somebody else can, like, come and rescue you if they either play the game themselves or I, I don't really know. Uh, the mechanic is unknown to me until we actually get to the point where we, you know, die. So what's this? Altar of Exchange. Replace an item with a random one. What do we have? Let's probably get rid of the Fugi potion. For bone armor. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, let's see, it's better than the fur armor plus one. I should probably pay attention to stats as we go along, but later. And we got the exit, and we've got weird zombie, zombie dude. Okay, music might be a little bit loud. Let's turn it down. Unfortunately, the balancing is uh, a bit on the the rough shot side of things. Uh, you know, it can be real quiet or it can be real loud. So these guys are all level one. This shouldn't be too big of a deal. We don't care about any of those. I guess let's just... Who's weak to it? This guy's weak to it. And we miss completely. Never mind. Let's see. Off shop. I, I mean, I guess we gotta go for the big guy no matter what. Or we just keep missing no matter what. Alright. Okay, he's not so bad. I was a little bit worried that we were going to run into troubles here. He's stunned. He took 150 damage, so we probably can't do Death Sniper on him. Yeah, uh, we might have we might have been able to. Oh, he only gets stunned for his first hit. That's interesting. Okay, and I'm gonna keep turning it down a little bit. This wasn't so bad earlier when I wasn't streaming it, but now that I'm streaming it, a little, a little more. Yeah, Cardus Dungeon, sort of. So this game has, it's an interesting, like, intersection between a bunch of other roguelike mechanics and, like, styles. So it's got a very, like, heavy traditionalist, um... It's got a very heavy traditionalist, like, roguelike feel to it. You know, the wandering around the dungeons and stuff. But instead of, say, like, mid-boss, for example, you... You wander around the dungeon, uh, and then get into actual fights. Uh, we don't want to leave yet. Maybe I should've. Was there even...? Nah, let's just move forth. I don't want to spend too much time. Um, but so, like, instead of mid-boss, where you sit around and you kind of plink away at them and you kind of, like, dodge around on the actual grid, you go into instance battles. I guess Darkest Dungeon style. And I actually really appreciate that. I wish more traditionalist roguelikes would do this, because this is a much more compelling battle system than most of them. Okay, so amplifies damage by one level, and they're slower. Now, serum therapy, uh, serum therapy, serum therapy, ha. Doesn't actually seem to help here. We could heal a bit, or we could just hit the weird fruit. Die would, no, didn't kill it. So I, I could kill the weird fruit before everything went bad. Well, 
At least we we've got Death Sniper. Hopefully we we can get our hands on a on a perk or an ability at some point that actually lets us. Um... Okay, so he's he's not asleep anymore. Uh, a perk or ability that actually grants us a small amount of stamina regen. I don't think we actually have that right now. Let's see. Okay, it is dead. Perfect. Let's see. So this game is kind of sci fantasy. Yeah. Okay, so what do you have in the tent? We've got a cursed bell. <laughs> Remove a curse from the from an item. Float and won't trigger trigger any traps. Sure. Last for X number of moves. Now I don't have any other bells, do I? Trap is not triggered. Okay, that was a good idea. And I have nothing to identify. So no. Alright. If you find disarmed equipment from the inventory. Wait, you will find... Okay, discarded equipment from the inventory as they disappear when the... Huh. Okay. I think it's saying that uh, you'll find, like, discarded equipment on the ground occasionally. That's kind of cool. Let's see. Wonder, have you ever done a top 10 roguelikes uh, likes list or even a gameplay marathon? Uh, I've never actually done... I don't do top 10s generally. Um, I don't... I think it's one of those where I feel like uh, opinions are, are subjective. Uh, well, they absolutely are. And so I've always had uh, trouble with the idea of top tens, even though it'd be like a uh, my opinion kind of thing. I know if I uh, if I did a top ten, people would be like, but, you know, so-and-so is clearly better. I'm like, I mean, I disagree. Uh, and then everybody gets into arguments over whether or not, um, you know, Darkest Dungeon's even a roguelike, whether or not, you know, Binding of Isaac is is a good roguelike or not, and, you know, roguelike, roguelite, I don't know. I prefer to just play games than state my opinion too much. I wouldn't mind doing it, though. Uh, I just, like, the list changes constantly. That's the other thing, because there's so many new games. Like, this came out in, this came out in January, I think it was. And I had no idea up until like three months later, and I was like, oh, you know, this is actually, this is actually a, a roguelike that I really do want to cover. Okay, so none of them are sleeping. Let's start with the Thunder Arcana. These guys are all big types, and they're very weak. Okay. I, I figured since they were huge, I'd have to worry about them, but now they seem to be fine. Okay. But yeah, no, I do have, I do have favorites. It's just, like I said, the list changes daily. Daily? Daily-ish, uh, yearly. You know, some roguelikes that I really loved, like Vigante, for example, I don't really like so much anymore. That's, that's one of my other problems. Because I really liked Vigante when I first started it, but now after, say, uh, Dead Cells, you know, that's a much harder comparison to make. Okay, lootable. So we've got more corrosion. Let's get rid of the uh, fur armor plus one. It's not as good as what I'm rolling. Actually, let's get rid of the uh, purifying bell, as that is completely useless to me. But yeah, I don't want to be become like a top ten cham channel. It'd be interesting. There's some things that would be fun. Uh, let's disorient this weird creature. I don't actually know... Bleed and rupture, but I thought I set it on fire. Eh, whatever. Uh, do we do dagger flying, or do we just wail on him? Well, he's disoriented for X number of turns. I don't really have a choice. Oh, it's it's a beefy sucker. Okay. Oh, it's a beefy sucker. And oh, oh, it's it's wailing, it's wailing on its allies. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll keep going for it. The machine is going to be a problem. Heal. Oh yeah, we've, we're fine. So, corroding damage and poison the target. Can't really do that on that one. I could do it on this guy, though. Oh no! I just realized uh, that was my... That character was disoriented. I wasn't even paying attention. Oh no. Well, it's okay. We've we've taken out the the back back group. 
This guy is still gonna hurt though. Oh no. Okay, serum therapy. Okay, do we have... I don't have any healing abilities. Target sleep for three rounds. Purify the most harmful effect on self. Deal with that quick. Let's stun him. No! I keep forgetting. Okay. Uh, aim and shoot. This sucker hurts. And he gets to do two hits, too. All right. Well, we're down. Res him. And do we heal up? No, 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 no. We'll just heal him. Okay. Yeah, this is... I was hoping the disorientation would actually work better, but it didn't. Not really. Okay. We're out of stamina, too. So we pretty much just have to wait and hope for the best. Okay. Now we've stunned it. That bleed. Oh, okay. That that bleed is not nearly as big of a deal as I as I thought it was going to be. Okay, that's good. Okay, altar of regeneration. Thank you. Good timing. Okay, discarded tents gets me guild and equipment to prevent it from corroding. Float and don't trigger any traps. I don't think I'm floating right now, so let's let's get out of this room. And then go back to... Well, we should probably guild something. Uh, do we guild the blood dagger? Or the Roman rifle? Yeah, let's, let's guild the blood dagger. Is it? Yeah, it's gilded, so it's got corrosion resist. What is going on here? Why? Okay, that was weird. Or, no? Okay, I... I've gilded both of them now. Goody. And we get a health potion. Hey, Andy. Oh, bleed according to health loss. Removed if the target is fully healed. Well, he's fully healed. I guess that only counts in, in combat, so we'll have to heal him immediately. Unfortunately, we need some stamina potions. Uh, and we should probably do the float prayer. Which does not seem like there's any kind of indication on how much time I have left on that. Okay, more health potions. Good. We kind of desperately needed them in the last fight. Altar of poison healing. You. Oh. Restore HP when poisoned. Okay, so if they're poisoned or venomed... Interesting. So that, that doesn't cure the poison. It actually heals them when they are poisoned. Where's the exit? Oh, no. I was right next to the exit earlier. All right, long walk. Which is not good because that whole fell meter ticks up as we go along. Uh, let's see. So, Wander, do you prefer this kind of game... Uh, or Darkest Dungeon. I actually like kind of both of them. Um, my problem with, uh, Darkest Dungeon is the game's so long and losing your characters is so brutal that it makes me kind of stressed out and I don't enjoy playing it after a certain while. Um, this sort of thing, all of your characters level up based on, um, based on that, that amulet thing instead, so you don't actually have to worry about... can't do that, can I? Well, we should probably just, uh, restore stamina. Because I want to I wanna get rid of his... Oh, no, the bleeding's just gone. Alright, well, that's handy. Um, and he's escaping. No escape! I don't like escape. We're gonna run out of... We're gonna run out of, uh, stamina pretty quick like this. Which is fear. Uh, so let's let's just keep regening stamina there. I thought we got stamina back based on like walking around in the world. I don't think that's actually the case though, which is unfortunate. Is he vulnerable? Not a big deal. Um, but so yeah, it seems like the uh, the penalty for for defeat in this is a little bit friendlier. Darkest Dungeon has a lot going for it. This is a little bit more of like an indie project. Darkest Dungeon is uh, well 
has a lot more funding behind it and keeping it going. Ooh, 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 that's bad. That's bad. Uh... Hey, we got a stun. Sweet. I didn't know she could even stun, like, just at random. But there we go. Yeah, so, uh, instead of leveling up your characters and having them that persist between battles, every, uh, every run is separately just, like, this thing levels up and then gives everybody a percentage stat bonus. Which I actually find kind of compelling, because this way you don't have to, uh, throw it in your face. Alright, let's get rid of that. In favor of just the money? There we go, free, free money, question mark. And another Ultra of Regeneration. I'm just going to keep throwing it at that guy for now. Now I could go up to the next level. The Amulet of Rhodes is looking a bit dodgy. But we've got at least one more fight and some more items, so I should probably go for them. Hello, creature! Okay, so they're wailing on each other. Ah. Okay, this is her. Let's let's toss one of the poisons at that guy. Now, this guy tends to run. But this guy tends to be the most dangerous. Because he hits twice. All the other ones, not so much, though. Ah, uh, shoot the eyeball next? Yeah. Because he'll do whatever the heck he wants. What is this? I have no idea what just happened there. And we missed. I just heard, like, weird UFO noise, and then nothing- No, Don't summon more! Whatever. They're not actually- They're not actually that strong. Uh, probably should just keep doing prayer, get that stamina back. It looks like stamina recovers somehow. Yeah, I'm not killing this guy anytime soon. I might be able to kill him. Hey! I honestly wrote him off as, uh, I wasn't going to be able to get him down. Obviously it cost me some stamina, but that's fine. This game looks weird. It's, it's definitely a weird visual style. I like it a lot, though. It's got a lot more personality than a lot of other games. It reminds me of, uh, Skyshine's Bedlam, but, like, not. I just remember Skyshine's Bedlam had a really, really good, like, uh, visual style as well. Unfortunately, that game was kind of meh. Okay, so we want to shuffle some things off. Get rid of the target sleep. And the fur armor. In favor of corrosion and lightning damage. Mainly I want to put on the... If you miss, you'll always hit the next attack. Does everybody have a trinket at this point? Yeah. Oh, poison and venom immune. Yeah, this is better. Because, yeah, this is only mild stat bonuses. Okay. So, in that case, do we even keep the fur armor around? I mean, it's worth some money. Let's get rid of the, uh, the charm. And just keep temp potions going instead. Let's see, can you poison your own guy so he regains health? It actually looks like he's already poisoned. Oops. I just want to go this way. Merge, a merge instrument. I don't think we have any ability materials, though. We have this guy. A, a runes merchant. Okay, so we can sell stuff. What can, what can we buy? Is any of this any good? Prevent misfortune, vulnerable immune. Looks like some decent armor with the bone armor. Only costs 200. And we do have a better wood sword. Okay. Well, in that case, let's sell... So I guess the poison potions are not actually worth that much. I guess I'll sell that. We want to grab the bone armor. And I also want to get the wood sword plus two, but let's let's get them on the characters first. Uh, let's get her in the bone armor. Sell my spare bone armor. We want to buy the wood sword plus two. Cause I don't, oh, no, pure fire cannon doesn't work. That's pricey. Stamina potions are pretty pricey, too. They might be worth it, but, eh, I'll be okay. 
Alright. He needs the damage up. She kind of needs the damage up. I know these have, like, some special abilities on them. Oh. If if you overflow heal, randomly remove harmful effects. So that's actually... That's that's better. Because, yeah, these do have special, special effects. Oh, this person, uh... Absorb stamina when hit. That's actually really helpful. That would explain why he keeps getting stamina back and nobody else does. So the bone sword and what's what's this? No. What's this thing? A purify instrument. Well, can't do that. All right, we should get out of here. I've been here too long. Nope, never mind. Got one more something. What's this? Hidden locker, sleep emblem, and a seal emblem. I get both? No. Okay, we'll get rid of one of the poisons. I haven't been using them nearly enough anyway. Let's see, how's the party creation in the game? You pick and choose based on, um... Pick and choose based on who you want in the party. I think there's like 10, 12 characters total. I can take a look at it uh, as we go along. Okay, lootables... Grab the stamina potion. Do we grab the stamina potion? Nah. Nah, at this point, pretty much the entire party is good on stamina with one exception. Hello, fights. So yeah, it's more like, I guess, like darkest... Would I say darkest dungeon light? Uh, do I get rid of his poison? We'll see. We'll see how that works. And let's go for Robo Clown here. Um, so like... Like Darkest Dungeon, you effectively have a limited pool. Yeah, you can kind of customize them, and Darkest Dungeon you can't miss one. Uh, but you just uh, send up more or less the same, same ten different characters. So if you want like an all DPS party, you totally can. Or if you want to mix in a couple of healers, I don't know. I'm really liking these gunner guys, but I think a lot of it just has to do with equipment. Being able to kill, uh, shoot twice is actually incredibly helpful. Okay, so he is... he is down. That's... that's bad. Wait, was that Murphy is awakened? What? That's a... that's a confusing message. Is... is one of my characters named Murphy? I don't remember. And she can't hit for anything. Oh, that's okay. At least we'll be uh, prepped for the boss fight. Though, like I said, kind of tempted to uh, to throw the fight in favor of uh, seeing what the rescue mechanics are. We might want to beeline for the end in that case, though. Okay, uh, we should probably keep healing him. That poison hurts. It'll last for three more rounds. Okay, I guess let's go for this guy. It doesn't take that, that long. Gonna take forever to get through him, though. Well, he hasn't decided to run yet, which is a good sign. Okay, now he's decided to run. But I think we can kill him. Yep, we got him. Yeah, Death Sniper is such a handy move. It's just like, oh hey, this guy's almost down. Two shots now. Does cost me some stamina. But we've got at least one stamina potion. I thought I had two. Like I guess I that was wrong. Ow. Uh keep doing this. I don't have any more revival runes, so I should probably Yeah, let's let's use a health potion. That is not nearly as substantial as I was hoping it would be. Those minor healing potions are minor. Losing your uh, healer to sleep is is rough. I think I saw a regen rune in the back, ah, but that only affects one party member. <sighs> okay. Yeah, that's that's a regen rune there. But we kind of need it anyway. We have a pistol plus one. Store stamina when you kill a target. Oh, it's a pastel. I'm sorry. What else do we have? All traps visible. 
Nope, that's... We don't want the return prayer. Oh, we were close to stepping on that one. Okay, so let's let's grab the uh, seal emblem again. A lot of items here. Remove all debuffs. Heal all party members. Okay, these are probably worth it. I gotta get a bit bigger backpack at some point. Okay, altar of regen. Oh right, we do heal while we're just walking around in the world. I forgot about that part. Okay, so let's put away the curse. Cause I don't I don't have any means of de cursing right now. Get the Roman rifle or the Let's upgrade the blood dagger. Whoa! Okay, yeah, that was good. What was the other thing? Oh, just curses. Don't care. A lot of dead folks. Nope. Rotten corpse has bone armor and a wood sword. Okay. Who needs the wood sword? He needs the wood sword plus three. Minor stamina potion. Switch these out. And yeah, I think I think we'll have enough time. Do stamina potion on him. And again. Wow. Spicy. And again. I was really expecting those would those would give you a little bit more stamina than they did. Hello! Blessed Jury Lash. Each attacker reduces MD defense for two rounds. I'm gonna grab it. I don't actually know what blessed means in the grand scheme of this game. It seems like a good idea to have. I I would almost grab these and run. And and keep them. It's probably better that I don't. Okay, so I'm gonna. I'm going to put her in the plate armor. Give him the bone armor. And then everybody else has better than what's available. Okay. Boss time? Well, there's there's the uh, there's the portal down at the very least. We do have to get past this group, but I'm feeling better. Let's go for the dude in the back, because he's the one that summons. Eh, I might also... Yeah, I'll have my melee guys go for the chopper machine. That's, that sucker hurts. And thank you, counterattack. Okay, so we're we're prepped and ready to go. And it looks like if you're poisoned... Oh, she's disoriented. If you're poisoned, you just get an auto, auto heal if you're that character. Which is kind of exactly what we need. And I really don't want to send this party out to die. Maybe we'll do it on the next round. No, I don't know. I so for the sponsored series, one of the uh, one of the requirements is that I I show off the uh, the rescue mechanic, and I'm like, no, I don't want to do that. Okay, so we can bless an item. Let's get a blessed blood dagger. Oh well, that's a bit of a mistake. Because, yeah, I could always do the return prayer. Escape and come back. Wait, we want the sleep all. Okay. So what's her max HP? It's not bad. We, no, we should keep her poison immune. Health? No, that's pretty good. Okay. Nope, it's this one. The extra health, the crit, and vulnerable immune. Kind of wish you could actually just send all of your items back or something. Okay, so this should be... Yep, boss fight time. Oh, well, who knows? It might just it might just kick me, kick me in the teeth one way or another. It might not even matter. Ma ah, matter. What the? What's up, Gramps? Uh. All right. Oh, 
Okay, so die for mini attack. Well. Okay. So, I figured this would be a good opportunity to run the clock on the, the weakness curse. And get some stamina back here. And maybe try dying next round, not this one. I could, yeah. I, I'm a little bit... I wonder if I could create, like, a B team. Or we could even go back and redo this exact level, maybe. Okay, so damage is reduced. They're all asleep. Um, this guy's hurt, which is a pain in the ass. Okay. And tally-ho. That worked. This is working. This is working really well. Okay. I guess let's shoot uh, Gramps in the back background. Heal him up. Yeah, I, I'll i do it on a, another run. We've got too much equipment on us currently. And I don't... I don't like throwing runs uh, in games where there's kind of like a progression system. Uh, when the when the developers were like, yeah, we're going to need you to show off the uh, lose to a boss mechanic. I'm like, oh no, I don't want to do that. Not if I'm doing well. Okay, so we actually, we're going to come out of this fine. These, these guys are chumpslies. I was expecting... Uh, I was expecting uh, this to be tough, but I guess I'm... No, nah, I'm a little underleveled. Oh, well. Unless we get another boss fight after this one. Which would be worrying. Okay, so what? We got the uh, Elichopter. Or Chopper? I don't know. Anyway, we got it. Better off. And... Yeah, let's... Let's just strip naked. Probably. Let's strip naked and go rerun the first level. Hello. I love the art for these, like, kind of cutscene vignettes. I have no idea what just happened there, but I like how it looked. Okay, so this guy's joined our team. We've unlocked Disordering Mirage and Sacrifice's Pathway. New adventurers just keep coming, aren't they? Have you come across any pain in the asses? We're a dragon group. We're dedicated to helping adventurers who's lost in the runes. Want to join us? That smoked room there is my site. Come by if you're interested. To this one. Okay, dialogue. Hey, would you like to join the dragon group? You can help. You can get help from all the members when you're in trouble. Log in. Info. I have no idea what this is. I'm assuming that might be the uh, that might be the recruiter system. Okay, well, one way or another, let's stash everything. Private warehouse. Uh, this is inventory. Well. It all goes in the bank. Okay. And then all this goes in the bank. Because I don't want to lose any of my good stuff. I'm not against the idea of, uh, of throwing a run uh, just to show off the recruitment... The recruitment recruitment mechanics? The uh the rescue mechanics, there we go. But it's also one of those where I'm like, no. <laughs> okay. Young man, I keep the warehouse for so many years. You're the first one to give me a gift. Okay. Uh sure. Five hundred gold. Bring more gold. I am poor. Well oh yeah, I'm short. Okay, so we've we've got the first rank of the sob, which is all team members max health increased by ten percent, and defense increased by fourteen percent. So that's that's decent. What's the next one? Oh, enter the runes with an initial level of three. Or, uh, yeah, absolutely always want to go with that one. That's ridiculously good. Okay, so let's talk to uh, Julian first. Can't believe someone's ventured so deep. Oh, hi, adventure. I've heard about you. No one else has ever been ventured as deep as you do. You are most blessed. You have the momentum. Maybe you'll even find the crown. Take this. If you find the crown, please also let me have a look. May the God of Rodriguez, God of Rodriguez, guide you. Okay, so we got bless an item. I don't actually know what bless, uh, 
how blessing works. Anyway, no, it's not true. How could it be you? No one's ever been there. I know the runes better. We'll see. Well, that person's gonna lose their mind. You were damn good. I gathered that someone's been to the depth that no one's ever set foot in. I knew it was you. I've been praying for you. It is answered. I should have been praying for her, too. I have something for you. Keep it as a gift. Loot, so we got a holy robe. You say I live in my own world. You may wonder why I run a business and write my music at the same time. Well, I'm from I'm from a business family. You know, you don't live you don't outlive the time. Most don't live to forty. My father was healthy and made it to forty seven. After his death, I took over the business. I have ups and downs, and I finally make it as it is now. But I'm tired. Tired of making a living. Thank thank God I have music. Music's comforted me. I like music. The only reason I this is the only reason I feel alive. Okay. Kind of funny to know that there are treasures. The thieves don't even give a damn. People just don't understand. All right, I don't even know. Okay, and she has nothing of any interest. So this is the collection. So we don't have... Eh, there's still quite a number of enemies we haven't seen yet. That's good. Oh, jeez, there's a ton. Achievements, statistics. Wait, the game begins. Huh. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Oh, we've unlocked the Trial of Fantasy. Oh. Runes level 9, new items are unidentified. Unidentified, lose all items if defeated. So this is probably the, uh, the random, true random dungeon. Yeah, highest level completed, shortest complete time. So maybe there's an end to it, but still. Okay, so story mode. So we are we could go onto the sacrifice pathway. Or I could just chuck myself back into the entrance of darkness and then uh, get wrecked. Okay. Let's let's start dying. Let, let's go test this out. See what happens when I when I get my face handed to me because I play play like a moron cuz I really want to see how this re this actually you know what? Let's let's give up. Oh, you lose all your na 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 na. We'll just take what I can. Oh, I brought these things with me like a like a dummy. Max health increased by 20%. Last an item. It's the blessed holy robe. That's uh Maybe a bit of a thing. Remove a curse from an item. Yeah, some of these are actually kind of helpful. Health regeneration. Okay, so that doesn't actually help. Yeah, I'm going to play pretty dumb. Okay, I do want to see what the two new characters do as well. So we're just going to hit this guy for now. Okay, so deal physical damage. Charge to a row of enemies and deal physical damage to them. It will disorient any target that dodges it. Reduce damage taken by half and repost any attacker. And unit in the back row only receives 33% less damage. Huh. Okay, well, let's see what this does. So he hits both of them. That's cool. Okay, so deal lightning damage. Deal lightning damage to all enemies. Reduce damage taken by half. Increase magical attack by 50% for two rounds. Stackable. Oh, probably should have checked what his passive was. Oh, we'll get back to it. Okay. Proposed. Okay. Well, let's see what old man's passive is. Double the effect of any arcana. Oh! That's actually ridiculously good. Anyway, zap! Works pretty well. This is... I don't know... I don't know who I like more. I... I might have to use, uh... Use Captain Zappy Zappy in lieu of the, um... In lieu of the Sniper Man. Because that might, that might be really cool. Okay, monsters that run don't give any EXP. Kind of figured as much. 
There's okay, there is an enemy here. Alright, all traps visible, remove yeah. Stamina potion and fight this guy. Let's see. So yeah, what I'll probably have to do if I wanna if I actually wanna throw this run is to just start uh blocking. Have everybody just go total total turtle and just waste. I wonder if I can recruit my or uh, recruit. I wonder if I can uh, rescue myself. Probably not. It would be an interesting thing to, thing to check, nonetheless. And yeah, I like the fact that we could effectively farm for good items uh, to benefit future runs. Okay. I guess we might as well double check and ha just have these guys die on the boss. I won't revive any of them, and I don't think I'm going to heal any of them either. So we'll, we'll see how far we can make it when I'm just effectively just mashing buttons. Right, I can actually do 1, 2, and 3 to speed things along too. Okay. Onwards! But yeah, the old man doubles arcana effects. That's real good. I wonder if that makes them uh, sleep for sleep for six rounds. We'll have to test. Because if that actually makes him uh, sleep for like six rounds, I guess we can test that right now. Okay. Holy light. Unfortunately, he's also very slow. So that means he's always going to be the last one on the list. Okay, he's disoriented. Whee! Okay, so they are... Nope, they're only asleep for... For three rounds. So it doesn't... It doesn't actually double every arcana. It just doubles some of them. And his damage is pretty bad. I'm sure it'd, get, uh, it'd be a lot better if we actually... You know, had some equipment on him. These <laughs> enemies are tough when I actually am not taking it uh, super seriously. Oh. But yeah, as long as I don't lose... Uh, as long as I don't actually lose any crucial equipment. It'll be a shame about losing the Holy Robe if I don't get it back, but... Uh, I guess that's what the rescue mechanic is for. So if any of you guys do end up picking this game up... Uh, oops. I guess I'm, I'm falling prey to the, uh, the disorientation really hard here. Uh, but yeah, if any of you guys do pick this up, we could actually do some kind of coordination uh, to always make sure uh, everybody gets rescued. Because that'd be kind of cool. It's like, never lose anything on a roguelike. Obviously a little, little broken, but still. Yeah, this kind of reminds you of Darkest Dungeon. It definitely has, like, a, a Darkest Dungeon feel. I I would probably recommend this to people that are... Wow. That was a... I guess that was a tough fight. Go figure. And stuff. Oh, well. Uh, onwards! I will fight you, creature! Okay, so if you lose a character in battle, they they will be back and ready to fight on the next round. Well, that's kind of appreciated. So you don't actually have to worry about character death and revivals outside of bat battle as long as you can uh, properly revive them in, in between. Or you can heal them up at the beginning of the next one. Which is a bit tough, but still. Let's see. Yeah, because he's not dead. He's still there. It's kind of horrifying that his... The top of his head is just floating off. That's worrying. Is this a Chinese game? Yes, it is. At least I believe it is. I believe all the... I believe all, all of the uh, text is translated. That's why, you know, things sound a little uh, weird when I'm reading stuff out loud. Okay, so the winners for the giveaway are Edelomi, Infinity Hawk 492, and Runbit. Congratulations! Hope you enjoy it! 
Oh, and there goes the entire party. All team members are down. You've lost all gold, items, and equipment. Oh! Wait, is that money that I've collected over the course of the run, or is that just all of my money forever? Well, at least we get a little bit of, uh, sob data. New adventures just... Okay, so it's this guy. Okay, missing items are back. Wait, already? What? Inf... Did it? Is it just back already? I <laughs> Did we just lo not lose anything because we immediately... Wow, we got immediately rescued, I, I think? The login button still doesn't seem to be doing anything, but... I, I got my stuff back. That's really helpful. Yeah, first time might be free. That's my bet. So, uh, if we die again, and I could easily just go, um, I, I could just go, uh, here. Let's do this again. Uh, let's, let's go to the bank, just dump everything, and then see what actually happens. Private warehouse. Deposit all. Okay. Let's, let's even go grab that holy robe off of the guy. This guy. Because the holy robe actually seems like it has kind of neat effects. Okay, private warehouse. Got it. So, we're gonna maybe want to get some money just so I can actually expand this a little bit further. Then again, when I do an actual run, it won't be a problem. So, have you leveled up yet? No. Alright, adventure! I'm going to die! Right here, sacrifices pathway. In the legend, this path is interwoven with life and death. This is the only way to approach God, by offering the sacrifice of flesh and blood. The legend of runes. Okay, so let's throw this even harder than last time. Throw as hard as we humanly can. Throw so hard, our arms are tired. And we're immediately just getting non-stop items. I really do appreciate that the, uh, the enemies change every time. I love the backgrounds, too. Okay, so what are these guys? Firm, magical defense, level plus six. Ooh, ow. So these, these little suckers are, are tough. Yeah, they don't take damage for anything. All winners have received their keys. Awesome! Okay, let's get some arcane mastery going. Because, yeah, unfortunately we're pretty weak, so busting through these guys' defenses. This might be just a, an imminent wipe. We'll see. Alright, uh, lightning damage! And we missed. Ah, dang, these... These little suckers are are tough. Yeah, we might actually want to rerun the previous level once or twice just just to have a chance at this. Also, interesting thing um interesting thing that I might want to consider is actually uh before going to a new level every single time. Well, he just died. Oh, we had some kind of buff over our heads or something. This guy's suddenly taking a ton of damage. Oh, all the buffs are gone. Oh. I bet if they're working together, uh, they get the bonuses, but if you if you kill one of them, the other immediately folds. Alter of Exchange. Get out of here, Sleep Potion. Give me a Bone Sword plus three. Oh no. Oh no, that's actually really good. Oh no. Well, you know what? This is why you rescued me, so I get to keep the... So I get to keep the, uh, sword. But yeah, uh... We could do, like, potentially runs, um, without anything. You know, go into one of the levels that hadn't been into yet. And effectively just, uh, scout. You know, say, hey, how hard are these enemies? Are they going to utterly destroy me? And honestly, with the balance of this game, it actually does not seem like it would be... It's ever going to be particularly brutal. Maybe on some of the harder difficulties, or, uh, even later on. But it's, it's not one of those roguelikes that seems, like, downright impossible from the get-go. See, does this have use items on stuff, uh, to get better stuff? Yes! Uh, I had a... It was a, uh, it was one of the cards earlier that actually let me enchant a weapon up to plus three. And so I upgraded my... one of my swords from, 
uh, plus zero to plus one, and it did, does like six extra damage, which I think is actually kind of handy. Eh, let's just keep doing this. Last away. Oh, jeez, this guy's a level eight. Go figure. Worrying. I mean, luckily, level eight does not actually seem to be incredibly powerful. It does a lot of damage. It does a lot of damage. Unfortunately, it keeps putting me to sleep. That's the main problem. Well, I guess I have one option. No, oh, wrong character, wrong character. Let's stun him. If I can. There we go. Zappy Zappy! Oh, that actually does damage. Should have started with that, maybe. Oh well. And double whammy. Well, I didn't die earlier. Now I'm gonna die. I guess let's heal him up for no other reason. I probably should have actually done that done that with the other guy. That's pretty effective. Yeah, so if I if I wanted to, and it's kind of tempting to do so, I don't know who I'd like better, the gunner or the uh, mage guy, but if I wanted to, I could have the mage guy and just soup him up with the heaviest heaviest possible hitting uh, weapon, period. Oh. And I had I had a weapon that made it so every time you hit an enemy, you got some stamina back. I wonder if I could upgrade that and do even more. I'd have to check. Okay. Well, this is the this is the group that takes me out. I'm not going down without a fight. Without a fight. And he just books it. No! Kill me! I seek death. Okay, Rotten Corpse has nothing. Oh, I should probably actually go up to this. Altar of Exchange, switch out the mystery emblem. We get that. All right, back into the trap. Catches two team members. Good. Good. Kill me faster. These are small dungeons. Okay. These are good items. I mean, I guess we are on a higher level. So, obviously, farming the higher levels is going to give me the better stuff. Well, do we do we put it on? Altar of Identification. I've identified it. It's a whatever that is. I'm mostly just confused, but that's okay. Alright, oh, yep, and we're immediately going into it. So, <laughs> do we think we're going to pratfall to victory this time? No, I don't think so. I don't even know what that means. I... Well... I don't even know what that means. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't mind the translation issues too much. I mean, honestly, the game could be almost played with pure numbers. Like, you don't really need the deal lightning damage. I guess some en enemies are weak to lightning. That is one thing that they showed off. But, like, you could totally replace the word lightning with just an image lightning. Like, uh, of lightning bolt and stuff. I actually have toyed with this idea in the past. The idea of a roguelike... Uh, that uses no words. There's a couple that have been like that. I think Tumble Seed was kind of similar. Um, but, you know, the idea of roguelike that, yeah, you have numbers and you have symbols and, like, nothing else. You don't have to worry about... Uh... Stun that guy because he's a problem. Uh, I'm going to keep trying to uh, continue this run even if... Uh... Even if it's going poorly for me. Oh, that's repost. I I'm a dummy. I want to kill this guy. I don't have to kill him, but I want to kill him. Uh. But yeah, just just games without words, because the concept of a game without words, like it's not that hard. You just have to make sure that everything is fairly universal. You know, the NPCs talking emotes. You know, happy face, sad face, and you know, pantomime, effectively. Like, I could see that going really well. That plant is a horror. I guess I should have been aiming for that all, uh, the plant all along instead of the uh, escapee guy. 
yeah, we're probably gonna lose this one. And that's entirely understandable. Uh, but that's fine. We did kind of go on this run just to throw it and see how the rescue mechanic works. Okay. Uh, I'm... Let's see. Go for the crystal. Yeah, we're not We're not gonna make this one. Our frontliners are down. My healer's almost dead. I just want to take as many enemies as I can. I don't know if they're worth uh, extra EXP or not. Like, I have no idea if the, uh, sob levels up based on how many enemies you killed, how far you got. I have no idea, but it's okay. Alright, and there we go. So, all team members are down. You've lost all gold, items, and equipment. So, uh, I did this to myself. Okay, cool. Oh, neat. Uh, so, I, I will admit I might sound a little bit different. This bugged out when we were uh, when we were testing this on stream, uh, and it looks like they they very quickly translated it and probably fixed it. So you can retrieve your lost items by releasing rescue info. The rescue info can be checked at Dragon Group Agency. All right. Okay. Rescue success. Rescue code is YB two four R zero. So I can share the rescue code. So if I do that. Duplicated the clipboard. Okay, uh, so what that does is that gives me a code that I could hand to anybody else that owns this game. Uh, so if any of you guys watching this video, for example, saw that I fell in battle, you could actually, you know, input that code in here. Uh, acquiring rescue. You could put that in here. Uh, so we'll do join. Uh, I guess... It doesn't, it doesn't matter. But yeah, so you can put that in here and get me all my items back, which I think is actually, like, obviously it kind of throws off the uh, the threat of permadeath. But I like it a lot, mainly just because, like, okay, fine, it's just a setback. But having a friend just kind of pop a code in and, and you get rescued? Perfect. I, I don't know. I, I kind of wish there were uh, some other roguelikes that would have this happen. Uh, kind of. I wouldn't exactly say don't starve together. Or, well, Don't Starve, but I I think Don't Starve is almost one of the, the biggest offenders as far as I'm concerned. I like the permadeath mechanics, but it's also just kind of brutal, because it's like, yeah, I just spent like 10 hours on this run, and now it's gone because I got hit by a stray lightning bolt. Or I didn't eat quite fast enough, or I made some kind of goofy error. And I like that tension, but I also just kind of like to be able to play and beat games occasionally. Anyway, Dragon Group Oath. I promise to be loyal to the Dragon Group. Promote all causes that may be beneficial to it. Oppose everything that may harm it. Support and rescue its constitution, and devote myself to promoting the fulfillment of its ideals and principles contained constitution. Alright, well, we're going to join it. So what I can do is effectively put in a rescue code. Now, I don't think I can send in my own. Um. Can I? Okay. Uh. <laughs> I, I figured as much. Uh, so these these are the this is the team that I've lost. I would uh, I'd call for help and they'd uh, they'd rescue me. I guess honestly, let, I could go I could go see if uh, somebody will rescue me. I think what I'm gonna do is uh, is pick that back up on the next episode because I think that's the best way of doing things. Give up on release rescue or call for Segi's help. Oh, interesting. Spend 2,600 gold to call for Siggy's help and retrieve all equipment, but not items or gold in their inventory. So, this is kind of the alternate version. If you can't find somebody to help you, you can pay money to retrieve your team. But obviously, why would I? I mean, the bone sword and the bone armor is pretty good. And the fur armor. There's some stuff here that I want. But anyway, uh, we've got the rescue code. So, I'm going to just send that off to somebody and see if we get rescued by the next episode. Okay, now for sure, I've, I've been absolutely rescued. A couple of false starts and figuring it out and... Apparently, the, uh, my press contact had to manually go rescue me for this. Uh, because I didn't have anybody that I knew. Yeah, here we go. The Dragon Group is re uh, probably Dragon Group has retrieved your belongings for you. This is the Dragon Group office and have a check. Nope. That's the him. There we go. Okay. Uh, did we get it? Retrieved items. Yes. Uh, all of them? I was kind of hoping there would be a, uh, collect all button, but it's fine. It takes, like, no time. Anyway. So yeah, so that's how the re rescue thing works. It looks like, as far as I can tell, he actually had to go in the dungeon to rescue me. It wasn't just you put it in a code. 
Oh, but that, I mean, that still fits well into the gameplay, and it looks like you just have to do the dungeon again, which is hardly a problem at all. But what I might do is see if I can set up, like, an alternate version and rescue myself or something. That could be kind of fun. Either way, though, I guess with that, uh, we have been properly rescued. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Mad Crown. It'll be a couple of days. These are being paced out a little bit uh, so that we can get all of the necessary talking points and show everything uh, off properly. And it looks like if we're going by story mode... Oh, no, there's six dungeons. We'll do... We'll attempt the Sacrifices Pathway next. Hey, who knows? We might actually be able uh, to beat this in a short period of time. Obviously, we still have the Trial of Fantasy, Glaze Rune, and Endless Abyss to get through. We'll get there some point.